Hi, it's Anthony, Jesus Crafter. All right, so today we're making a banner. Um, the, one of the things that I like about banners is, or that I find important, is that you have layers. So I always like to have at least two layers for the outside, and then you also wanna do an offset for the letters. It really makes a difference in um, having that overall you know, professional, nice look. So, okay, I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's look at, um, I'm gonna make this smaller. Okay, so this is a free image. I'll, the other thing that I like about banners is I like doing um, different shapes just to make it look a little bit different. So um, let's do this and this shape you can find here. So I'm gonna click here so you can see and you uh, hit on your mouse the right click button or right click on the mouse, <laughs> go to image info and it's this circle right here. So you wanna search for uh, pound sign M42C, 2C7B and it will give you this. We're actually only using the inner circle, but you just click on it and insert image. So it comes out like this, just ungroup it. We don't need, um, I, I like the more defined circles and not the bigger circles. So I'm gonna delete this one. And for now, don't worry about the size so much. We just wanna, I'm gonna delete this. We just want one and then if you see the shape of this, it's a circle inside of that. So let's just get, insert the shape and it's a circle. And just make this proportionate to the outside. Now, once you like this, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab both items, go to align and center it. Now, you, you do this once you like the size of your circle. So if you want this circle to be a little bit bigger, then you need to do that now because we're gonna, um, we're gonna create the holes in them, okay? So if you wanted it this big, then make sure you get it whatever size you want it. Once you do, grab the two items, we'll align it, align center. So it's right in the middle. And let's make these colors the way we, to match what I actually have. So it's purple on the outside. So you can select that your items either on the right-hand side panel or over here. So I'm selecting this one. I'm gonna go and change this to purple. And I'm gonna change my circle to pink. And then my letters are purple and white, okay? Just remember that. Okay, so we have these two. Um, what you wanna do now is we're gonna insert two circles, because I like having two circles because I want the ribbon to go through one, go behind the circle, come out the hole on the other one, and then connect the other um, pieces, okay? So let's make these circles about that much. <laughs> we're gonna duplicate it and we're gonna do this. So we're gonna grab these two circles over here, um, both of them. So hit the shift key and your mouse, select the second circle. And we wanna align these. We wanna align them center vertically so that they are uh, straight across, right? Now you can move these depending on where you want, where you want the holes to be cut. Um, what you could do is you can group it. Then we can grab all three and we can center that. That way it's right, oh, that's not what I want, I'm sorry. Um, align. Well, we know where it, it's centered here. We can grab this and now move it up. So we know it's centered um, within the circle. Okay, so now let's ungroup this. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab one circle and you're gonna grab the pink and we're gonna slice. Okay, then we're gonna grab this one and the purple and we're going to slice. That way it's slicing in the same place. Now we're gonna grab this circle with this one and we're going to slice and then we're going to grab this one, no, this one, and our purple, and we're going to slice. So I think that gives us, let's bring that to the front, arrange, send to the front. So now all of, both of our purple and our pink have the holes in the same place so that when we put this all together, the holes are right on top of each other, okay? So you can see that there and you can see that there. These we can get, uh, we can get rid of. Okay, 
So now when we center this, the holes are right above each other. Now, however many ones you wanna do here, I would just do one set. We'll do the letters in a second, but I wanna show you something. Let's say you wanted to do 20 of these. Um, now is the time to decide what size you want. I like five inches is a good size. Let me see what I have on here. I don't remember, I made these so long ago. Um, one, two, three, four, five. This is about, I think the outer is five and a half inches. So let's do, so I think that's what I currently have. Um, but what you don't wanna do is, let's say you want 19 of these, you don't wanna duplicate 19 times because it really slows down design space when you have so many items. So you only want one, um, one set and then you wanna to go to make it. And from here, you wanna to go to project copies and do 19 and hit apply. This will make it much easier. Now, the thing is, sometimes it's not the most, I wonder if we can fit one in the middle. No, I don't think we can. It's too small. But um, I guess we're stuck with that. So here are all your copies. And then you can just feed in your, um, your paper and cut, okay? But let's do our letters as well. Okay, so when we're doing our letters, I do like using Font Lab Pad. This one is the Dehors, um uh, font, but even though it's um, not cursive, I like using Font Lab Pad because I find that the, the spacing is much better than design space. So I always do it in here. Um, that's just my best practice. Do save as, and I'm gonna save as Judy, which I already did. Um, and then save it, I've, since I already saved it. We're gonna go into Inkscape. Okay, we're gonna go to File and Import, and I'm gonna import Judy. Okay, so this is like design space. I wanna make sure that my item is locked. So I'm gonna click on it and then make this really big and I'm gonna show you how to do the offset. Now it's up to you. I like to do at least one offset and that's what I have here. And I love the white in the back because it always makes it pop out. You can really read the letters. Um, but when I'm in here, I like to do an offset two times or even three times because then you can go into design space and decide whether or not you wanna delete it. Um, I find that it's easier to do it all at once. So here's Judy, right? So what you want to do is this is selected right now. Take your cursor, click in the white area so nothing's selected. Go hit your paint bucket. Pick any color. It doesn't matter. Go up here, and we're going to make it grow by 20, okay? So type in 20 in the grow. And to do the shrink, you would put a negative sign in front. So if this is positive, it's always growth. Now you're going to click on Judy. J-U-D-Y, and you can see the offset. Isn't that cute? Okay, then you wanna hit your arrow over here, hit in the white area over here so that the Y is no longer selected. Hit your paint bucket, pick another color, and let's, oops, did I do the blue? I did do the blue, okay. And do by 40. I find that if you do by tens, the offset is so minimal. So I like 20, 40, 60. Um, so we already picked a different color. Let's now click on this and see your offset is much bigger. Okay, and then let's do one more just for the sake of practice. Okay, so hit the arrow key um, in the white area so nothing selected. Click your paint bucket, pick another color, and let's do 60 this time. And this time, I think because they're all connected, we might just have to hit it one time. Yep, don't worry about this little thing. Let's hit the arrow and then select everything over here, and then go to Path, Object to Path, File, Save As. So Judy Offset, save it. Let's go to Design Space, Upload, Upload Image. We gotta find our Judy Offset, there it is. Save, okay. So we're gonna insert the image. All right, so here's Judy. And what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to ungroup it and just one by one here. Let's 
go to contour and hide all that will get rid of that circle so here's our offset and then judy you're going to want to hit all the blues so i'm selecting it over here hit the shift key get the u the d the y and hit weld and then i'll be here oh no wait a minute what am i doing undo undo shoot i forgot that we're doing a banner okay what we were doing is if you were doing a cake topper and all the letters are going to be smushed together but on here we want each letter individually oh my gosh i wasn't thinking so let me show you how to do both in case you want to do a banner as well right so okay sorry let me unwind go to contour let's get rid of this circle that's another way or hide all okay and then you would have this then let's grab the blue and you're going to weld that as well. And so you see, this is if you, we were doing all the letters and oops, undo. Let me grab all the yellow and let's group that together so that they move together. So here is, and then let's bring it to the front so you can see. So this would be great for a cake topper. So you see like you have all those layers, right? <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Go to align center so you can see it perfectly centered. This would be great for a cake topper. Let's go back to Inkscape for a minute. What was I thinking? Okay, so let's just delete this. Now let's import again Judy. Okay, make it really big. Then what you want to do, though, is this is all grouped together. You want to go to path and you want to do break apart. And I think, does that let me break up? Yeah, so now my letters are separated. I'm going to move them wider so that when I do my offset, they don't get, they don't touch at all. Now, <laughs> click in the white area here because our D is selected. Hit your paint bucket. Hit a color and let's do 10, 20. And let's do our J, all our letters separately. Hit the arrow key in the white space, paint bucket, another color, 40. We'll do our J, our U, our D, our Y. <laughs> Hit the arrow key, white space, paint bucket, another color. And let's do 60 this time. So I'm glad I made that mistake because you may have done it. Now you know. I mean, you want to know both ways because they're good for their own separate reasons. Let's do the J U D Y. All right. Now at the end, though, you still do the same thing. You want to grab everything and go to path, object to path, file save as and so this is going to be judy offset separate separated all right now go into design space let's upload that upload image go find it right so here's um okay here we go i'm going to insert it okay so now our letters are separated because if you remember before we the blue started to blend together, so we didn't have a separate, you know, for separate letters. So let's ungroup this. And now, um, let's move these so that you can see them in the right order, center front. Now, in the actual one that I did, I only did two layers. So it's up to you here what you wanna do, but, um, let's say you want to do all four layers, okay? Arrange them to front. Okay, let's grab all of this and align center just so that we can see it. Let's group it so that it moves all together, okay? Now we want to size it. So you see it's a little bit big. I would probably do something like this. Now you have all your letters. The only thing is I would have grabbed all of these letters so that they are decreased at the same time, if that makes sense, okay? So let me undo this really quickly. Okay, so it's here, right? 
So what I would do is this. Um, I would grab all of these and group them so that they stay together. And then actually I would group them all together because I want to do this. I want to move it up here and I'm going to decrease this screen. I'm going to zoom out. So I have all my letters here, right? But I'm really just focused on the J. So I'm going to size and just look at how the J looks. So if I like this, for instance, then that means all these letters have decreased in size at the same uh, rate. So that's what you want to do. And then if you're good with this, then you go to make it. All right, I hope that was helpful. I'm glad we did this though, because if you wanted to do a cake topper, this is exactly how I would do it. <laughs> All right, bye guys. Let me know if you have any comments or questions or if you have a project that you want help on, please document it somewhere, either in comments, send me a note to ann at theuselesscrafter.com and I would love to help you out on your special project. Thank you.